Old fashioned Dean, okay, just with one of these. Traditionally, you would use an American bourbon or you could use a Canadian rye. But you could also use Irish whiskey. Here's a couple of our local ones. You've got the Blacks, Black Ops, and you've got the Red Earl once a bit. Also, Paddy Powers Jemison. Okay, now first, I've got a chilled whiskey tumbler right here. It's a traditional old fashioned drink. And I'm going to add a sugar cube. I'm going to dash with a bit of Angostura bitters. Two or three drops of that as loads. And then I'm going to muddle. Now you could use a mixture of orange bitters and regular bitters. And as an alternative, what you could do as well is instead of orange bitters, you know, this is not necessary to do, but you could use orange itself. I like it this way. I'm going to muddle in that. Bit of orange there as well. And now I'm getting a lovely fragrance there. Got the herbs from the bitters and the fresh fruit as well. Muddle that in. You want to get that dissolved as best you can. This one here. And I'm going to add my 50 ml of whiskey. I'll let you decide what whiskey it is there. And I'm going to give that a stir. Then I'm going to add ice. And stir again. So literally I'm getting all that mixed up. You want to get the ice mixed in there with all those drinks. And you want to stir that for at least 30 seconds to get it properly mixed. And of course, if you have the bar spoon, it's easier to get. You might order one of them off, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> now, that's the one with orange. You don't have to use orange if you don't want, but you can get lovely fragrance there now. Fresh orange, fresh herbs. Served in a whiskey tumbler, 50 ml of whiskey. And like so. I would be quite happy to drink it like this, but if you want to do a straw, you could always cut one to size. Say here. And then our garnish, always an orange garnish with the orange drink and a cherry if possible would be nice. Here's one that you made earlier. How does it look? 